It's been less than 50 years since we've had the first vehicle created, and boy have we come a long way since those days. The first car, the Benz, had a 0.79 horsepower engine, which is pretty limp these days. The lightweight car was just 220 pounds, which is less than a lot of humans weigh. Maximum speeds were just 10 miles an hour, which I guess is just about worth the effort. These days, there are some beast mode vehicles out there that make a laughing stock out of the 1879 landmark car. In today's video, we're talking about 15 of the most incredible monster machines of all time. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling! <laughs> Number 15. Falcatus. That's a whole lot of machine right there. Get a load of this before I tell you more about it. That's a mean-looking armored vehicle, nicknamed the Punisher. This absolute brick of war machine belongs to none other than Russia. The Falcatus is a 10-person combat vehicle based on a double-axle chassis Kamaz 4911. The bomb-proof monster has gun-firing openings and a Bane-style grill that I wouldn't want to argue with. Imagine this machine cruising down your street. I'd be terrified. It looks like something straight out of a science fiction movie. The weapon on wheels was spotted in use in 2016 during an operation in Dagestan in which thugs were gunned down. This place is said to be one of the most dangerous places in Europe and is frequently the scene of conflict between police and militants. Here's a video of Russian President Vladimir Putin inspecting the Falcatus, which gives you a sense of its beast-like size. Putin looks stone-faced as he's shown around the monster machine. Nothing phases this guy, does it? Number 14. Big Muskie Big Muskie was a coal-mining beast the Dragline Excavator was owned by the Central Ohio Coal Company and operated in the U.S. state of Ohio between 1969 and 1991. The monster machine was powered by 13,800 volts of electricity and had 18 1,000 horsepower drives and 10 625 horsepower DC electric motors. If you have no idea what that really means, I totally don't blame you. To put this into perspective, Big Muskie used the equivalent power of 27,500 homes, costing tens of thousands of dollars per hour in running costs. Big Muskie was a true beast, standing tall at 222 feet, which is roughly the size of a 22-story building. The machine was 487 feet long and weighed an incredible 12,000 tons. The building cost for this machine was the modern-day equivalent of $174 million. Big Muskie did its job, though. During its reign, it uncovered 20 million tons of coal and shifted twice the amount of earth that was moved during the construction of the Panama Canal. Following the 1977 Clean Air Act, machines like Big Muskie caused scrutiny to its operation and led to a dip in demand for high sulfur coal. After becoming unprofitable, Big Muskie ceased operations in 1991. However, it remained on the land for a further eight years, just slowly rusting away. These days, the bucket of Big Muskie sits in the AEP Recreation Land Park and holds a memorial to miners who lost their lives on the job. Number 13. Bagger 288. What a machine! Bagger 288 was a German-built strip mining machine constructed in 1978 and outweighing Big Muskie to become the heaviest land vehicle in the world. Bagger 288 weighed in at 13,500 tons and completed its mining mission at the Tagebau Hambach mine in Germany in February of 2001. The monster machine could excavate 240,000 tons of coal a day, which is equivalent to a football field dug 98 feet deep in the ground. Yet this machine is on wheels, and it can travel at around 0.4 miles per hour or up to 32.8 feet per minute. Sure, that isn't very fast, but this is one heavy beast. I think it's for the best that you and I could outrun it. Did you know that the Bagger 288 featured in the 2012 Ghost Rider movie? the rider turned the Mega Machine into a flaming beast of destruction. <laughs> um, that's terrifying. Perhaps even more terrifying, Bagger 288 now has a sibling, Bagger 293, which weighs in at 14,200 tons. Yikes. Number 12. SLJ 900. If you're going to have a beast this big, at least give it a name. 
That's what I think anyway. What would you call this bridge builder if you got to name it? The SLJ900 is a bridge building mega machine spanning 300 feet in length and 29 feet in height. The machine belongs to China and was built by the Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company. This beast has 64 wheels and can rotate at 90 degrees. The Colossal Machine can move at 3 miles per hour or just under 2 while carrying a load. They may not sound too speedy, but it's fast enough for me to want to stay well away from it. The machine weighs 639 tons and has a lifespan of around 750 bridge builds over four years. Some models of the SLJ900 are able to build 1,000 bridges in their quote unquote lives. 1,000 bridges. That sounds insane to me, but let's not forget that China has a population of 1.39 billion spread across 686 cities. More cities are being developed each day and the SLJ900 plays a huge role in the country's infrastructure. Number 11, LTM 11200-9.1. Another terrible name for a majestic machine. The LeBaire LTM 11200-9.1 is the world's tallest and strongest mobile telescope crane. The vibrant yellow beast can lift up to 1,200 tons, which is over 2.6 million pounds or roughly the weight of 12 blue whales. Now that's kinda nuts. This crane has an eight-part telescope boom that extends up to 328 feet and a maximum lift height of 630 feet, which is higher than 50 stories up. The monster machine is powered by a 240 kilowatt engine that and a 500 kilowatt engine that powers the axle carrier. So why would you need a crane this big? Well, to build wind turbines, radio towers, absorber columns, and other huge structures. The LTM helped build the world's biggest wind turbine, the E126, which is located in Emden, Germany. The giant energy structure has rotors slicing in at 413 feet wide circles in the air and can power 5,000 homes. Number 10, Big Bud 747. Now that's a better name, isn't it? Big Bud is a large tractor that was built in Montana in 1977. Big Bud is often hailed as being the world's largest farm tractor because it's twice the size of a regular farming tractor. Check out the wheels on that thing. Seriously, those are huge. These tires are custom eight feet pieces of rubber. It's thought that there are two Big Buds in existence, both with a height of 14 feet, a length of 28 and a half inches, and a weight of 100,000 pounds. Big Bud is heavy. Bud has a fuel capacity of 1,000 gallons and an 1,100 horsepower engine. The starter votes as 23 and Big Bud has an induction of two turbochargers and two superchargers. The tractor was previously used for deep ripping and carried an 80-foot wide cultivator. It said it could work an acre in a minute Sadly for Big Bud, however, it was taken out of action in 2009 and is now on infinite loan at the Heartland Museum in Clarion, Iowa. Watching Big Bud in action really puts into perspective how big Big Bud really was. I still can't get over those wheels. Number 9. The Dodge Power Wagon Imagine it's 1945. I don't know if you can because really that was a lifetime ago, but 75 years ago the Dodge Power Wagon would have looked like one hell of a machine. The machine was the first mass-produced 4x4 truck, which is crazy if you think about it. This is the car that sparked it all. The truck weighed one ton and had a 230 cubic inch flathead 6 engine, a 4-speed manual transmission, and 5 stud wheels. The commercially available car was based in a model that had been used in the military, but consumers liked it so much it was transformed into a mainstream car. Those tires look pretty big to me right now, and I'm used to seeing big cars, and in 1945 when vehicles were teeny tiny, this really would have been a monster truck. All hell the daddy of the pickup truck. If you want to see one of these trucks for yourselves, there's a whole bunch out in Fairfield, Iowa, and each year there's a vintage Dodge Power Wagon Rally. Number 8. Sam 100. Have you ever wondered what we use to brick roads these days? If you thought it was humans, think again. Meet Sam, short for semi-automated mason. Sam lays bricks and tracks and is the first commercially available robot to do so. If you think robots are going to take our jobs, 
you're probably right. Sand can lay bricks six times faster than a human, totaling at least 3,000 bricks a day. The party line is that Sam wasn't made to replace human labor, but to enhance it by increasing capabilities and lowering the health and safety risk. I'm a little suspicious though. Sam's creator let us on that they potentially see fully automated construction sites being something that could happen in the future. Sam costs around a half million bucks, which is significantly more expensive than the current cost of human labor, but many site developers consider it an investment piece. The University Arts Building of the University of Nevada is said to be greatly benefiting from their SAM. Watching this machine at work is pretty crazy, but I'm not sure that I trust that red arm. What do you think the future holds for construction robotics? Number 7. SVM-1000 SAM may have had a friendlier name, but SVM-1000 is similar in some ways. Instead of laying brick, this monster machine lays rail track instead. The high-speed laying machine was developed and built in 1981 and has built thousands of miles of tracks across the world. The world's largest track layer is a continuous action machine, which means it just keeps on going. In 2011, the monster machine laid the 26-mile railway between Calix and Haparanda in Sweden, drawing in crowds who wanted to see the equipment working in the construction stage. Luckily, the film has been filmed in action, so we can all see how it works. It's pretty impressive. Number 6. Tunnel Boring Machine This machine is nicknamed the Mole because it spends its time underground excavating. The tunnel boring machine is an intense piece of equipment that has replaced the dangerous practice of drilling and blasting to create tunnels. Mole machines bore through soil, rock and sand and cut the tunnel to their shape. Dirt is sucked into the machine and then passed down an internal converter. Precast concrete segments are also laid by the machine. Early TBMs were used as long ago as 1846, but what we have today is way more advanced. Modern TBMs have terrifying rotating cutting wheels at their front called a cutter head. Some TBMs are not manned, so if you accidentally got in one's way, well, let's not talk about that because it's very unlikely to happen. Number 5. Large Hadron Collider I could talk about the Large Hadron Collider all day every day. It's one of the most intense monster machines in the entire world. It's the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It's a 16 and a half mile long mega beast filled with superconducting magnets. The machine accelerates particles and smashes them around a ring in opposite directions. The collider is capable of sending particles hurtling at close to the speed of light to get them to the collider. The reason that the $9 billion project exists is to allow physicists to test particle physics. Learn more about the Higgs boson particle or the God particle and to attempt to closely recreate conditions as close as we can to get them to those present at the beginning of the universe. The LHC was built by CERN in collaboration with 10,000 scientists in over 100 countries. A lot of people are concerned about this monster machine, believing it to be too powerful and powerful enough to create a doomsday scenario wherein a microscopic black hole is created and begins to slowly swallow the Earth or that of an ultra-high energy cosmic ray that could be unleashed. For those that are worried, a weasel managed to take down this monster machine in 2019 when it had a fatal encounter with a high-voltage transformer. The machine was repaired and operating again within just a few days. If a weasel can disable a 16-mile machine, maybe there's nothing to be afraid of. Maybe. Number 4. The Prelude this is a floating monster. The Prelude is the world's largest floating liquefied natural gas platform and the largest offshore facility ever constructed. So how big are we talking? The Prelude is 1,601 feet long, 243 feet wide, and is made up with 260,000 tons of steel. Yeah, you heard that right, 260,000. This beast can displace as much water as six aircraft carriers combined. This is a real unit. It's bigger than the Eiffel Tower and is just shy of the size of Chicago's Willis Tower. Shell's floating liquefied natural gas structure took five years to build and now sits 120 miles off the coast of Australia in the Prelude and Concerto gas fields where it's extracting natural gas. The beast is expected to extract 5.8 million tons of liquid condensate each year which includes nearly 4 million tons of gas and half a million tons of liquid petroleum. 
The bright red monster is designed to withstand Category 5 cyclones. Some analysts estimate the cost of the vessel was between $10.8 to $12.6 billion. Shell has estimated the gas extraction project will cost up to $3.5 billion. Now imagine seeing something the size of one of the biggest skyscrapers in the world moving towards you on open water. It sounds like the prelude is something that you have to see with your own eyes to actually believe. Number 3. Strato Launch Watching a video of this airplane is surreal. I thought it was two planes at first, but then I realized it'd be totally impossible for them to fly side by side like that. This is actually one machine. The twin fuselage aircraft is the biggest plane in the world with the longest ever wingspan of 385 feet. Just to put that into perspective, it's bigger than an American football field. This plane is powered by six Pratt & Whitney PW4056 engines with a thrust of over 56,000 pounds per engine. The plane has an empty weight of 500,000 pounds or 250 tons but can take off with a total weight of 650 tons. This winged beast first flew for the first time in April 2019 reaching 17,000 feet and 305 kilometers an hour. The Mammoth machine was built to carry rockets, launch satellites, and eventually people into space, but it met with bad times shortly after its creation. Straddle Launch was funded by billionaire Paul Allen, the co-founder of Microsoft. Soon the company ceased all operations and was placed on sale for $400 million. It's now under new ownership and could carry a hypersonic flight vehicle by 2022. It is high spec and I can't totally grasp how this double plane works, but look at it fly! Number 2. Belaz 75710 Belaz stands for Belarusian Automobile Plant. The company has made over 120,000 vehicles and started supplying in 1948 to the Soviet Union. Belaz has a lot of beasts come off the production line, but in September 2013, they presented the mother load. The 75710 is officially the world's largest dump truck with a payload of 496 tons. This unit is a mining vehicle that can carry its own weight and is 67 feet 7 inches long and 29 feet 10 inches high. The truck is powered by two MTU 65-liter 16-cylinder four-stroke engines, each with a horsepower of 2,300. Wow, the truck is heavier than the previous largest haul trucks by at least 50 tons. Despite its size, the 75710 can still travel at 40 miles per hour. The monster truck now lives in one of the most intense places in the world, the Kuznex Basin in remote Siberia. The mining area covers 10,000 square miles and coal can be found at nearly 6,000 feet down into the ground. The coal mine is 60% of Russia's production and provides energy for swaths of the country. However, the area is significantly polluted. Balas are so well known and loved for its monster trucks, it's even featured on Soviet postage stamps. The 75710 has yet to feature on a stamp, but I bet some collectors would love to see it. Number 1. FAST This monster machine employs hundreds of people. Yeah, you heard that right. FAST stands for 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope and is a radio telescope located in the Dawadang Depression in Pingtang County, China. The 1,600-foot dish fills a natural crater and is the world's largest radio telescope. The mammoth device became fully operational in January 2020 and can hear pulsars from the universe coming from thousands of light years away. Hundreds of astronomers work with this massive telescope and within 15 years it will have scanned the skies and analyzed the data. FAST is a major step forward in radio astronomy which will allow scientists to discover more unknown stars, piece together information about the laws of the universe, and perhaps even detect aliens. A machine that can hear aliens is a pretty awesome machine in my eyes. The project costs $170 million, which is cheaper than the creation of some of the other monster machines on this list. But perhaps its discoveries will be much more significant. So, that was the 15 most incredible monster machines of all time. What'd you guys think about this list? Let me know down in the comments. I can't stop thinking about that big prelude. It's more than a machine. It's kind of like a whole island. Now that's crazy. 